good morning it's a beautiful saturday morning and i woke up so tired with body pain i don't know why. no i know why actually because i actually stressed myself last week so i woke up this morning with like body pain i was thinking that or i was praying that i can sleep to like around 10 11 but my body system could not just and i had to wake up like eight or seven anyways today is saturday um first thing i have to do is i have to read so just like quick story um so i have to read a particular bible verse so in my church here in poland we had or they grouped us like into little little groups so like three people in a group right so what we've been doing i think since towards ending of last year is to read a particular bible verse and then when we meet by 12 we pray we sing um everybody says like what they learned from that bible verse for the week and also like people pick out inspiration like encouragement from others through that bible verse then <coughs> Once you are done with that, if you have like any special prayer request or something that bothers you or something you want people to pray for you or pray with you, then we do that. Then after that, we just like um, pray, then we share the grace. So I think so far it's been good because it's just a very small group. We are just three in the group. So it also makes the three of us to be, you know, like close because these are people that you'll be able to share like and the group when i say group is not complete like i'm the only girl in the group with two guys right or with two men because they are men actually so um you know it's not compulsory like it's maybe the same gender or something no they actually share this randomly and i think i'm so grateful for those i fell under their group and we've been consistent you know the best way we can and one thing i also learned from that is the fact that when the three of us read like a particular bible verse for the week and then we meet by 12 today because today is saturday everybody says different thing in as much as that was the same verse that was read you know it simply means that god ministers to people or idea or the way we read and interpret things are actually different from each other so this week i think is matthew verse 5 and also we started the book of matthew like oh we're reading matthew 1 matthew 2 3 4 5 so by the time we are done to the end of matthew then we know that okay we are done with the book of matthew so i think for this week is matthew verse 5 so i need to get that done i need to read this and also something i've also started doing intentionally this year even though i struggle is to get familiar with the stories in the bible so there are stories in the bible like you know um david's story that's a bit familiar there's um, samuel job you know like there are stories that are a bit familiar but i really want to like understand starting stories in the bible not just the parts that people are used to so if you're a christian for an example like when they say david you start saying oh david and goliath you know, that's like the common thing attached to david and how david you know fought goliath no but i really want to know like the storyline like okay when david was born to so when his brother threw him in the lions then you know not stories that or the areas that we're actually used to so i started the book of um this year which is january but i'm currently filming today which is february 2nd or third so in january i started the book of roots um very interesting book very very interesting book very very interesting book um and also i started the book so because the root of book is actually the root of roots the book of roots is actually very short so also in january i started the book of esther right so for me i just want to really understand like those stories in the bible that is just one of the things i want to do to build my relationship with god and not just understanding those stories in the bible is because even when i'm reading those stories i'm able to get other things right and for me i'm not like reading like the four verses in one day i'm not reading like 10 verses in one day i'm just taking it a verse per day because that is my uh, am i gonna say it? like that is um my pace currently 
I'm not like so even if it takes me a whole month to read the book of Ruth and okay Jerry for example I read the book of Ruth and then I read a bit of the root of Esther not a bit I'm almost done with the root of Esther then if I'm able to read like one more chapter or two then I'm done with the book of Esther then we are currently in February then I have to pick another book so somebody said Naomi so I might just check the book of Naomi or something I really just want to know those stories personally and just as a way to build up my relationship with God so something again that I also want to say about that is the fact that I'm going on my space I'm not reading like oh I have to read the whole four verses today I have to read no I'm just doing it like a verse per day with that I look up to knowing what next because it's more or less like suspense oh what happened next to her roots what happened next to Esther how did Esther meet Mordecai who was Mordecai so Esther like it gives me suspense for the next day and let me just say this also that I am also struggling in as much as I said I want to read it every day that's some days that I don't read it at all you know now some days I don't read it at all but being intentional with the fact that this is something that I want to read every day is just what keeps me going. So one thing I've also been doing, one thing I've also been doing is that I have this book that my brother gave me um, when I left Nigeria. So one thing I've also been doing that has really helped me, you know, just to understand the stories. Like for me, it's more of understanding it than just reading everything. So one thing I've also been doing, I'll just share this just in case if there's someone who is like me and wants to build is a relationship with God, regardless of your religion, you can just like cultivate something that you really want to be intentional about this year. So one thing I've also been doing is that I also like jot them down. Now, I'm not sure it's showing but uh, okay it's not showing so I also judge them down so this is the book of Esther chapter 1 what I learned in the book of Esther chapter 1 I also have chapter 2 you know what I learned you know the prayers that came to my mind or things I have to take note of I also have chapter 3 you know like I write them down like when I read oh this is what I learned this is the prayer point this is the part that really touched me I write them down so just for reference purposes when I'm done I can just like oh okay this is what happened this is and also you can also get like prayer points or things that minister to you in the process of reading so that aside I think <laughs> I've said a lot about that so I have to read that but for the subgroup is Matthew chapter 5 because we are reading the book of Matthew so it's also helping me because I'm reading like Ruth and Esther and also in the subgroup we are reading like uh, Matthew but we are reading a chapter per week so you see we are not we are not taking it too much we are not saying oh we have to read 3 chapters before the next week we have to read 7 chapters no one chapter per week for the group and when we meet that one chapter is being broken down like it's being broken down into different dimension based on how the Holy Spirit leads us so anyway that is what I've been doing in my Christian journey so what else do I have to do apart from that because I'm going to spend my Saturday pretty much with me today because I'm really intentional about vlogging and vlogging and vlogging so I also completed the dresses yesterday I think I showed you guys the dresses in maybe the previous vlog or this vlog because I'm just vlogging is when it's time to edit I don't know where they fall on that so I also completed the dresses right I also completed the dresses like the three dresses I was working on so I need to iron them and then um, model them like take pictures take pictures with them so one thing again i also have to say is that you know when i finished sewing them yesterday i finished sewing the dress yesterday and what i just have left is to do the the head wrap or the scarves for the three of them and i just said you know what i'm gonna do it tomorrow i'm gonna do it someday and this morning when i woke up i was like oh god i need to sew the scarves you know and it just came to my mind that sometimes like the beginning of a journey is actually very easy like very very easy but the finishing part is the hardest part because trust me if i haven't finished making the dress i'm gonna be very serious with this i'm gonna stand up i'm gonna do it i'm gonna be very serious because i know i have not finished this project that i started or i'm in the process of finishing the project that i've started but you see the finishing parts like just like oh let me finish up with the scarf let me finish up 
you keep on procrastinating and that is how life is generally so you start a project and when it gets to the end the finishing part or when you are close to the finishing part you get you start getting tired you start you know having fear you start comparing yourself does it what is you start doubting yourself you start doubting your ability but in the beginning when you want to start you are very hyped oh i need to start this business oh i want to start this business you are very hyped in starting and then when you get into the process of doing the business when you get into the process where especially where there's a break light or there's a breakthrough you start getting tired mentally you start getting tired physically you start getting tired and at that point if you are not able to really push yourself consistently you might just fall off you know and that is what happens like even in our daily life so that's what came to my head this morning but anyways anyways and um, i don't know if i should tell them before i iron and fold or i should iron fold style iron fold um, uh, it's gonna be stressful so let me just tell them take cute pictures of them at the same time it's not really the weather is actually i don't know is it gloomy let me show you guys it's given like it wants to rain kind of vibe i mean cloudy vibe it's not rain actually it's just cloudy maybe because it's summer i don't know but it's not bright you know that was one of the things that made me to get um light and because the bulb in my room is yellow not white and i can't change it or i don't know if i can change it because i stay in the dormitory and i don't want to do something else so let's just talking for the past two to three hours on call with family and this is just because i'm a family oriented person i really really love and value the communication and the bond in my family and also because this is also something that relocation also does especially when siblings all over are uh, all over the world in maybe two parts of the world or three parts of the world it takes like extra effort and being intentional to keep up with the communication especially when you are in different parts of the world that has different time zone or even the same time zone as long as this is your priority it can be a bit challenging but like i said intentionality is the key so i've been on call for the past two to three hours the next thing i have to do is i have to edit a youtube video and also i have to track my expenses for the month of january so let me just say this last year was a very beautiful year i relocated last year which of course is like a major project to me but coming into this year one of the things that i really want to be intentional about is being able to be accountable being able to budget you know that is even one of my visions for the year 
to be able to be accountable to be able to be to be able to budget and i feel like that is also a struggle for a small business owner now what i'm trying to say is this as a nine to five or if you have like a corporate job it's easier for you to be able to budget it's easier for you to be able to be accountable right because if you are earning less like hundred dollars as a nine to five you know oh every month your salary comes in is hundred dollars i have to pay for rent twenty dollars i have to feed you know i have to transport like you know an exact amount that you are expecting at the end of every month and then you've set out like constant things that goes in place every month like accommodation like feeding maybe transport or maybe things you need to buy for yourself so it's easier to be very accountable when it comes to having a nine to five job or having like a corporate job but when it comes to business or running a small business it really takes um you have to be intentional you have to be intentional about it because you really need to know like how many sales you have in a month and not just because it's a sales you know you have to calculate like oh what is the cost price of every sales how much sales do i have what is the cost price of the sales you know what other cost maybe shipping cost you know if you're able to pay fees or if there's dues you have to pay you have to calculate all those things before you can now say oh this is the profits or this is the estimate of the profits and at the end of the month you can say oh this is the estimate of the profits at the end of the year you can gauge like the range of your of your income and also for me because last year i brought in african prints to europe um one thing i also have to take budgeting serious is for me to be able to track the kind of fabrics that people actually like so when i want to bring in another set of fabric i have like a track record or a pattern of fabrics that people love you know like from the in the month of january i can say oh people really love a lot of blue fabrics and yellow fabrics you know if this pattern continues throughout the year next year or next six months when i want to restock or next three months when i want to restock i'll be able to restock based on the pattern of what people want but if you don't have um a track record of it if you don't track it you might just be restocking what people don't really like and also it's also for me personally also you can also like look back now and then see the kind of styles the kind of ideas the kind of thing that people want and just channel you know your concentration towards that part so what i have to do now because this is february and i don't want february transactions to meet up with january and then i start getting confused i have to sit down and track everything just to know the kind of fabrics that people really love or the dresses i made this month to also calculate the cost and deduct every transaction from the cost and then i can know how much i'm able to make so i can also ask myself you know how can i improve the sales or what part you know i just need to be accountable that is something that i want to do so this is a bag is like a basket weaved bag i don't know like it's like a basket weaved bag and i love the fact that it is very strong if you watch my vlog you know this bag this is the bag i used to basically carry like my shipping dresses when i want to send them out because the hand is very strong it's also very fancy and it's actually very big so i picked them up from school i think my sc my school was doing oh, what am i going to call this now like for fresh house like you just keep things for fresh house that if you want you can pick it up and all of that so yeah that was where i got the bag from so one thing i am going to use or the app i'm going to use to be able to track this you know to be able to record this i'm just working on my ipad but you can use your phone you can use your laptop you can use anything that you have that is available for you so what i'm using is excel sheets what i'm using is excel sheets i believe everyone knows what an excel sheet is but if you don't know what an excel sheet is you can just you can even do it manually you know you can do it on your phone just rule like lines you know type of items you have mm, the prices you can even do location this helps you to know where most of your customers are coming from so if you stay in lagos nigeria for an example and then you've tracked your 
your business for the next six months or for the next three months you can even discover that most of your clients are not even in lagos or most of your clients are in a particular part of lagos you know it just helps you generally and because i'm very intentional about this we are going to do an overview of all my sales for the month of january so i know that i also used to be in these shoes before so let me just talk from my own opinion i know that when people hear or see videos like this you assume that oh you know for you to be able to you might assume that you might assume that oh for you to be able to track your expenses it simply means that oh this business is a big business or you know this business is making xyz amount of money no being intentional this is something I'm, i tell myself being intentional about something is not until when your business is big before you can start to put certain things in place even if i make just two sales or three sales in a month i'm going to write it down i'm going to be intentional about it i'm going to document it i'm going to calculate my profits i'm going to calculate the type of goods that i have so when the business eventually grows where you're making ten thousand when you're making hundred when you're making ten you still maintain that system that pattern that structure when it grows to be making one thousand you have that pattern you have that structure you know so this is just me and something that i want to be intentional about this year so if you're a business owner small business owner and you're watching this video i think it's just an encouragement or a sign that we need to document all this because you can be making sales and you're not making profits i hope you know that you can be making sales and you're not making profits if you don't sit down to check and balance it to deduct it from your materials and all of that you might be making sales but there is no profit and you might make little sales and you have a high profit margin and you can make so many sales and you have a low profit margin so you have to do that you have to calculate so the first box what i have for the first box is january January okay I'm just gonna so I'm gonna take my phone and I'm going to just go through all my monthly sales we are, we are being intentional this year because intentionality is the main thing so So the first sales was in January 8th. So you see the reason why you have to record. Okay. January 8th. The second thing I'm going to do. I'm just saying like what I have on my column. You can do it based on what you want. Is I have to write the type of dress. So. Okay, 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 maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never fell this way I really hope that you will choose to stay through all the pain I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and Guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long It hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray As you fade away As you fade away As you fade away So guys, I'm done recording all the transactions As you guys can see, it's not much it's not so much but at least the consistency and the intentionality of recording it it's what matters to me and also because i can now say oh okay i know the amount i made you know and how can i improve so one thing i also noticed from this you know recording it is that 
um, people love discounts and people love sales so when you run like okay let's just sit. when you run like a a promo maybe like 10 percent discount or free delivery or something it increases sales this is what i noticed from the month of january for me personally and you know like i kind of like tracked what season did i have sales was it when i you know give out discounts or promo or was it when i posted consistent consistently on social media you know i also track like what source where the income was the job coming from was it coming from whatsapp or instagram or where was it coming from and also like um, was it when discounts are being made or was it when i was posting consistently or you know like all these matters so this month which is february at least i know where and how to channel my energy based on what i have like i said the money or the income might not be much but it's just me that wants to be very accountable in terms of my business and also like have a proper document of it so i can't show you exactly what i have but i will still be using this same spreadsheet for the whole month okay i will still be using this same spreadsheet for the whole month so I have January up to year. So once it's February, I include it. March, I include it. Still using the same spreadsheet, you know, for all the months. This is what it looks like. So I'll just be including it month by month. So that at the first quarter of the year, I can look at it. At the end of the year, I can look at it, you know, at the end of... Um, for me, I can look at it. So if you're a business owner or a small business owner, it doesn't have to be monthly. It depends on what you sell. You could do daily. If you sell daily basis, you could also track it weekly. If you sell on a weekly basis, you know. But for me, I think monthly, it's, it's, it's not so much. So anyways, that is it for today. The other thing I have left to do today is i have to edit a youtube video which will be going up tomorrow i have to edit a youtube video which will be going up tomorrow and also watch movie along the line as i edit i intend to finish editing the video today i don't know how that is going to be possible but i want to finish editing it today so that tomorrow i'm going to church tomorrow and then i have to read for my exams because i have exams tomorrow by eight so I need to read for my exams tomorrow so i'm not doing anything apart from reading tomorrow so editing i have to finish it today so that the video can go up tomorrow and then on monday my exams is by eight so when i'm back from my exams on monday i can sew the edge wraps and then package the orders and send it out on monday that will be on monday because i only have exams on monday by 8 so anything from 9 10 i should be back i can now like finish up um the scarves iron them package them and then head out for delivery so that's like the major thing i have to do on monday after my exam so tomorrow after church i have to read but for tonight i have to struggle to make sure i finish editing this video i don't know how long it's gonna take me but while i'm editing i'm just gonna watch movies alongside with it because that is what i love to do it makes it easier for me to work you know i can just like edit while i'm editing i just look for movies it could be on netflix it could be on youtube anyway i just play it alongside with um the video that i'm editing I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way
way Gotta build up on my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby have a taste All the highs and the lows, no you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you but I can't control the pain If you stick 